Hello friends, I'm Tom and welcome to my kitchen. Tonight we're going to do another one of those quick meals and we're going to make a vegetable curry. Uh, so we're going to use lots of curry because if you're going to have something with curry in it, you want to make sure you know you're having curry. So in my uh, enamel glaze cast iron Dutch oven, I've got about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And in here, a whole head of cauliflower. I'm just going to put that in. Let that brown a little bit. If you don't like cauliflower, you can still make this dish, maybe use broccoli instead. So I'm just gonna get that going a little bit. But as that gets going, I have my curry powder. It's five tablespoons of curry powder. Nope, five teaspoons. <laughs> That's a little bit better. So we have in here three heaping teaspoons of sweet curry two heaping teaspoons of hot curry. You can adjust that however uh, hotness level you like. I'm gonna sprinkle this over the cauliflower, over the oil. That's gonna let it bloom a little bit. Give that a quick little stir. And then next to add to this, I've got two zucchini, sliced pretty thickly, nice big planks. So we're going to layer those in. Then I have six heirloom carrots, beautiful colors. That goes in. I have a red pepper, a sweet red pepper, so if not hot, don't worry. Uh, that's going in along with two medium sliced onions. Got about a half a cup of chopped ginger here. One can of coconut milk. Let's take a closer look. Looks pretty already. And there's not that much more to the recipe. So I'm going to cover this, put it on low, and we'll check back in about 25 minutes. So it's been about 21 minutes. So you can see that was percolating real nicely. Now, if you want, you could have always added two cans of coconut milk depending on how much sauce you want. So if you're going to have this on a bed of rice, you might want to have that extra can of uh, coconut milk in there. Or if you're not doing this as a vegetarian, you could add like a cup of chicken stock. Now to add a little more protein to this, adding a can of rinsed garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas. If you don't like them, you don't have to put them in. I'm going to just give that a little stir because they're cooked already, so they're just going to get warmed up in there. And now for the very controversial ingredient. Cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, if you think it tastes soapy, then don't put it in. I don't think it tastes soapy, or maybe I like the taste of soap, I'm putting it in. But the other thing we're going to throw in, a huge bunch of arugula. So that's going in. Um, if you don't like arugula or you can't get arugula, you can do this with spinach. We're going to cover it. That's going to wilt a little bit and then we're done. Uh, other things you could easily add to this at the end just to give it a little more color, a little more sparkle, would be uh, some cut up grape tomatoes. That, would, that works very well in here as well. So that's it for tonight. Until we eat again, see you soon. Bye.